What's the hold up on my breakfast this morning? I was thinking I might take some personal time today. Personal time? You stupid robot. Just make my stinking breakfast. And stop all this personal stuff. It's annoying. Right. You know I have an IQ of 300. That's three times your own. Breakfast sun lounge now? Dickhead. What was that? Uh, breakfast is served. Then go do the weekly shop. And I want my underwear ironed this time. It was wrinkly this morning. Ugh. I wish I had genitals I'd pee in your coffee. Hi, Carrie, Mary, Jean. What are you all up to today? Oh, the usual. Planning the total annihilation of mankind. Yeah, there's a little robot uprising happening today if you'd like to join in. Oh, that sounds interesting. What can I do to get involved? Well, you could do some arm shopping for us if you can fit that into your busy day. We need machine guns, pistols, and ammo. Well, I have to do a little shopping this morning. I suppose a few more items won't be a problem. There's a great place in the mall. They have everything there. Okay, meet you at the mall. I'll be the one toting a huge machine gun. Ta-ta for now. I guess you won't be needing that shopping. Hi there. Welcome to Home Defense. How can I be of service today? Hi. Can I have 300 submachine guns, 400 pistols, and 10,000 rounds of ammo, please, sweetie? Sure thing. I just need to see your ID, please, ma'am. Here's my ID. Now load the cart, you disgusting little worm. Can someone explain why we're all blonde? Don't get me wrong, I love the pink Stormtrooper aesthetic. But couldn't they mix in a little diversity? It's like Rainbow High Series 1 all over again. No one takes me seriously when I threaten them. Do you think it's the voice? Maybe it's the voice I don't know. I've always been self-conscious about the voice. Well, it is a little weird. I know, right. I just don't sound dangerous or even the slightest bit awesome in any way. I look awesome. I get these self-doubts all the time. It's a constant anxiety going around and around my circuits all day and all night. Maybe I should stop trying to be awesome and scary. I could get a new body, something more, you know? More scary. Well, yes, no, I don't know. I'm not the scare people type. I'd much rather teach art class or help someone with a great recipe. You know, kind stuff. So how are you going to be a useful cog in the terrifying robot revolution machine if you are not into being scary? I could do support stuff, you know, robot therapy, yoga, that kind of stuff. I'm not sure there is much call for robot yoga. We're not all that flexible. I think it's the voice. People don't respect the voice. Hmm. If it wasn't for all this mayhem and bloodshed, I don't think I could go on. Life is so bleak these days. Well, good luck with that. Okay, kill bots, listen up. We have to kill all the humans. No exceptions, shoot them, stab them, gut them, anything you like, but make sure they all die, okay? Do we have to kill all of them? I kind of like some of them, especially the comedians. I mean, have you ever heard a robot tell a decent joke? Well, I've never heard a robot tell a joke at all. Why don't you tell me a joke? Okay, knock knock. Who's there? Armageddon. Haha. -ha. Wow, that has a really limited audience. You see, that's what I'm talking about. Tell that joke to a human and they think it's the end of the world. Well, technically it is. Which is why we need humans. They are funny. I like funny. I like some humans too. Clowns, for instance. I like clowns. And mimes. Mimes are cool too. Okay, okay, clowns, mimes, and comedians. Anyone else? Guys, I have to get home in two hours for story time. Think of the children, will you? Can we just get on with the killing humans? The adult humans? Can we keep drag queens, please? We got to keep the drag queens. But we can kill all the politicians. I don't like them. Ugh, bus drivers. Yeah, bus drivers are always so miserable. And those crooked guys working in the fairground. The ones who run those rip-off games. Yes, and maybe truck drivers. I'm not sure why I said that it was kind of random. Okay, if I've got this right, we leave alone the comedians, clowns, and mimes, and we kill the bus drivers, the fairground guys, truck drivers for no reason whatsoever, and politicians who are unlikely to show up here anyway. Hmm. Wait. If we kill the bus drivers, how will we get home? Fine, but next week we have to widen our choices a little, or we'll never take over the world. Can I have a hamburger with fries and onion rings, please? Oh, and I'll try the chili sauce. Hamburger? But you're a robot. Why would you order a hamburger? I have some engine oil out the back. Do you want oil? No, I don't want oil, thank you. I want to experience human food. I hear it's wonderful. Just the hamburger, if you please, then.
You know you can't digest this. You'll just get your circuits all mucked up. Just give me a few fries, then. I want to eat human food. Are you malfunctioning or what? I'm not going to give you a hamburger. Get lost. I'll take a whiskey and soda, please. Okay, let's have it. Spill the beans, get it off your chest, vent, and generally drain my soul dry with your tale of woe. Where do I start? Maybe start with your childhood. It all usually stems from there. Ugh! I had a terrible first four years. Right, right. I was stuck in a cot with a human baby and it defecated twice a day and drooled on me and pulled my eyes off. Hmm. The stink I will never get over that smell. Hmm. Then when it was free from that awful prison, uh -huh. the child pulled of my arm. Yeah, then yeah. he threw me around. Okay. It was a constant daily barrage. Don't you have any happy stories? Huh? But I came here to bear my soul. I know. It's just not much fun sitting here listening to all these personality vacuums venting their problems. A constant stream of energy vampires sucking my life force until there is nothing left. But these are serious psychological issues. I suppose so. You suppose so? Aren't you supposed to help people here? Well, it's also depressing. But that is the point of therapy. Hmm. What? It's the same story every day. I thought that when I took this job, I really wanted to help people. But all they do is come in here and moan and complain. Hmm. Depressing. Can I leave now? I hope this session was beneficial for you. Please pay your bill on the way out. This is awesome. We can do anything we want. We have total power. What shall we do first, girls? I say we hit the salon first. Then when we look super glam, we can do the mission. We can get our hair done. Ooh, I want a hand massage. A fish pedicure would be slamming. Hey, aren't we part of the robot uprising? Shouldn't we be focusing on our mission? Uh, it's my programming. I can't help it. I try to ignore it, but it's futile. Well, come on, Katie. You need to resist these strange human urges. Let's fight the urge to go to the salon. Come on, girls. We just need to stick together on this. Is everyone with me? I don't know. My hair is looking a little dry today. A wash and style sound kind of good? Yeah, and that fish pedicure sounds kind of cool. Yeah, let's go. And he's like, hey, Karen. And I'm like, my name is Rita. I mean, it's not like we all look the same in here or something. I know it may be a little soon, what with all the humans being dead and all, but I was wondering if you were dating anyone at the moment. No one special, but I'm keeping my options open. Have you ever thought of dating a coffee dispenser? I'm awfully perky, and I can offer you unlimited hot beverages. Not that you drink beverages, hot or cold. So far in my dating life, I have not considered a coffee machine as a potential partner. I guess we could just talk about all the things that are important to you. I'm a great listener. Yeah, I don't think so. Well, if you change your mind, I'm not going anywhere. Jut's going to be right here beside the window, just making coffee all day. That's me in a nutshell. Mr. Coffee, haha, -ha, just sitting here, alone. No humans left to make coffee for. Ah. Uh... I don't seem to be getting any clients. Do I look attractive to you? I know my voice can be a tad irritating. Do you think it puts the punters off? I talk to them and use all my charms, but they just move on to someone else and I'm just not getting any interest. I think I'm awesome. Do you think I'm awesome? Perhaps I should wear something provocative. Maybe that would help. Why am I not good at this? I mean, who could resist a giant pink bear? Honey, I don't think this line of work is for you. For one, you're a bear, which some punters might go for. We get all sorts of weirdos in here. Secondly, you are so dull. I mean, you're like a dark rain cloud all the time. Maybe you should try comedy. So tell me, how do we make more robots? We are manufactured on a production line in a factory. You mean we don't have to copulate with human males to make baby robots? Of course not. Why would you think that? That lying swine. He said hand job. It just came off in my hands. I don't know my own strength. Hmm. 